What is up guys, Robus Jr. here, thank you so much for watching, as always it is much appreciated and I hope you enjoy this one. Today I'll be showing you how to tame the rare Dracodon or Cor Chrome, that was his core, Chrome Hound uh, Pet. And this is a rare Drake uh, Core Hound. And so there's only two locations to this uh, rare pet and one is very difficult and the other one's very easy but you're gonna have to do a little bit of work so uh, it's located and both locations are in the same area sort of so uh, it's located in Eastern Kingdoms and this is actually the last core hound I need in my collection because I have the Kirkin, I have the lava and I have the green one and this is like the last one I need for my collection and in the Eastern Kingdoms it's in the Burning Steps and the core hound is located in the Black Rock Mountain now the hardest one to get is actually located inside Black Rock Mountain and this core hound uh, just walks around this uh, path here or this this like circle I'm gonna fly up here so it just walks around here and the respawn time is about two hours so there was like five people just here recently waiting for this dude uh, to uh, spawn but we're not gonna do that that's actually the hardest uh, way to obtain this uh, pet so what we're gonna do is actually go into uh, Blackwing Lair and one of the bosses is called Chroma Chrom Chromagus, Chromagus, and you can actually tame this dude for you know for your pet collection so it's really nice and very easy but like I said before you have to do a little bit of work and that is going through all the bosses so hopefully you're at a high level where you can one shot all these dudes but uh, Razor Gore, the Untamed, is going to be a bitch to go through just because you have to control him and destroy the eggs. So I'll walk you guys through how to do that one. And I'll just show you guys where exactly how I kill all of these uh, bosses. And once we get to this dude, we'll go ahead and tame him and go from there. So let's go ahead and locate Blackwing Lair. And Blackwing Lair is actually located it's kind of hidden um, it's like up here somewhere nope it's not this one it is let's see I always have a hard time finding this damn uh, dungeon it should not be that difficult to find there it is so here is Blackwing Lair you're just gonna have to turn here go down there and so the entrance of it if you're looking outside there's the uh, meeting stone for black rock depths so yeah so you guys have a sense of where exactly it's at it is kind of hidden but yeah you kind of go through here oh snap what is this and I'd say alright dude get off me and I'd say just put it on the easiest uh, ray difficulty just to go through everything but for me uh, I'm just going to go through Heroic 25 player mode just so I can get some nice loot. And so let's go ahead and enter. So we place our hand on the orb and this is Black Wing Lair. Okay guys, so now we're in Black Wing Lair. And here is the first boss. This guy really sucks. So just follow what I do here and you'll be able to to defeat this boss now it takes a lot of time but we're just gonna go through here really quickly I'm gonna show you exactly what to do so I'm gonna kill these dudes and then that's when you start controlling him so on my way over there I'm gonna destroy a few eggs and that's how you destroy eggs and they actually give you some uh, abilities to attack the different uh, mobs that are about to come out here and so I'm just gonna destroy this one because there's gonna be a lot of guys coming through here and I actually got this really cool tip from a uh, from a youtuber and because uh, I got stuck so I, I searched searched this up and he actually gave you uh, this this way to uh, get through this solo because going through it solo is pretty difficult I try to do it you know uh, trying to defeat these guys but it actually takes a long time so what you do 
is pretty much sit here. That's all you do and take all the aggro and it says channeling here and pretty soon the channel is going to break and uh, once it breaks what you want to do with your main character is just quickly I mean quickly get on that oh shit go back go back go back go back so you don't want to take no aggro whatsoever so you just want to make sure you get on that so these guys are gonna not attack me here which is gonna be great um, and this is the best way to get through this boss and I'll actually leave a link to the video uh, below giving credit to the youtuber that actually gave me this awesome um, or gave this awesome tip for this uh, part of the dungeon because this is this is a bitch to go through. and so if the minion that you're controlling uh, dies that means oh shit that means that um, he's gonna explode and just pretty much kill everybody so it looks like I can now go and destroy all the eggs which is what we want to do and that's how we'll end all of this crap yeah that's all the mobs yes I can finally get through this and this will be easy cheesy uh, if you is this your first time doing it solo it may take you a few times just to get through it because if everybody's in the way it's really hard to get on that orb and so what I'm doing is just try to kill all these eggs that are close by so that he doesn't get uh, too close to me when the channeling is done because if he gets too close then everybody's gonna start attacking him and he's just gonna get wiped out and that's just gonna kill everybody okay now for the now for the few last uh, channeling here he's gonna be done here pretty soon so I'm just gonna hit the escape button hit that orb again and his ass stays over there which is nice BAM and that's how you do it solo guys that is how you do it solo once you destroy all the eggs that's when you can face him and you can kill his ass which is really nice oh shit what am I doing and that should just BAM that should just kill everybody I'm just gonna kill all these fuckers so wait till he reaches you his dumb ass doesn't even know what's going on I'll let him follow you Boom, boom, boom. I actually have this on heroic, I think, or whatever. But yeah, let's kill him off. Bam. And that's how you get done. Oh, I got the, I got the egg, yo. Yes, thank you. Unsatched egg. I've been trying to get this pet for a very long time, so this is like a great. This is great. Here's the next boss. This guy's gonna talk. We're gonna kill this dragon like at this low health. It's a, it's a joke. Sweet, got a few items. So that's the second boss. Now we're headed over to the third boss here. Anyways, once you kill off the second boss, you're gonna go through this uh, really sucky area where, um, yeah, you're just gonna be walking slow as shit. I really can't figure this out. You know, I can't really touch this. I think this is what causes me to go slow. But yeah, just take your time, you're just gonna get through this crap, and just kill everything, one shot everything. Okay, we're finally getting through the end of this uh, garbage here. And now here's the third boss. Very easy to kill this dude. Uh, anyways, once you pass the uh, third boss, you're going to face, uh, right, that's the third, yeah, you're gonna face three dragons. Those are the final three that you have to, um, oh, fuck off. These are the final bosses you're going to kill uh, before you get to the pet. <laughs> this is not the time, Sky. <laughs> there's the uh, first, uh, there's the first uh, dragon. <laughs> My uh, cat is like playing with my feet. Stop, you're tickling me. Ah, okay. <laughs> There's the other dude. We don't need none of that stuff. And here's the final boss before we reach to the actual pet. So these guys are going to block. You're going to kill these dudes. Very easy, very easy. I don't know why I took that. 
And now we have finally reached to the final two bosses. And here is Chrom Chromagus. This is the rare Drake Corehound. There he is, his big ass. So uh, remember, guys, please, please, please have Beast Mastery activated uh, because that's the only way you can get this pet. And also, make sure you have the empty slot in your call pet because when you get this far and you don't have no slots available, you screwed yourself big time. And so, in order to get that dude out, you're going to pull this lever. And now we can tame his big ass. There he goes. Let's tame him, guys. Bam! And that is how you get Chromagus. We got it, guys. This is the final Cornhound that I've been searching for and that I have been wanting to get. And he looks badass. So it's like a it's like a dragon dog, dragon two-headed dog. It has scales, uh, horns. It's like purple bluish. It has two heads. I mean, it's an exotic pet. It looks badass. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was actually really fun to record this video. Uh, it took a little bit of time. I kind of cut the video a little bit just to, to save you guys some time. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. It may be a little bit difficult for some of you guys doing this uh, raid or this dungeon for the first time. So I understand if it's difficult, especially in the beginning where you have to do like the minion and destroying the eggs. So hopefully I, I helped you guys on uh, finishing that and my cat is just going crazy. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are looking for the other core hounds, uh, there will be links in the description below on the other core hounds that I have uh, tamed and found and have made videos on how to obtain them. So thank you guys so much for watching again. Take care and I will see you on the next one. I don't know what happened. Right? The camera just got lost. Mount up. Yes! Look at that thing! Oh, that is so awesome!